Hello, Ashley. Sunday, November 13th. And this is a new video. This is actually my second video, but as I've noticed, you haven't actually done your first one yet. I guess I can forgive you. But you should really do it soon because otherwise this is just going to look like a one-way conversation with myself. And my other self is named Ashley. I'm sure you have a good reason for it. Like, a life. Just get it done soon. Anyway, I thought Sunday would be a good day to establish weekly goals like we've done via email and charts before. So I've written a few down and hopefully I can stick to them. First is water. The goal is 2.5 liters a day, which is two and a half of these. This is like my third today, so I've, I've hit my goal for today. My second goal is to work out every day. But my schedule is kind of wonky, so I had to write down what I do each day. So like, Monday I'll do yoga in the morning and hopefully lift after class and then run at night. Tuesday's a little different because I'm on campus for like 12 hours, but I'll do yoga hopefully every morning and run even if I'm really, really tired, which I know I'm going to be. But I still need to do it because I can and so I should. My third goal is no eating out, which basically means no pizza. As much as I love pizza, I really hate the way it makes me feel, and so it really just isn't worth it. My fourth goal is to stay under my calorie count for the day, which pretty much goes with everything else. My fifth goal is about school, which is to finish, well, at least get really, really far on my uh, presentation. I did some this weekend, but I'm nowhere near done, so I really wanted to work on that. Uh, at night and while I'm at work, because I don't really do anything else while I'm at work, so um, do a lot for my presentation. My sixth goal isn't so much a goal as it is just something I want to do, and that's to start a new book, which I know doesn't really sound like much, but if you'll remember that in college reading a fun book is less possible because you have a lot of other stuff you have to read. And today, while I was at the laundromat, yay adulthood, I finished this book. Which I think you might have, because I know I've seen this in somebody's personal library numerous times, and I can't really place it. I think it was at your house. Anyways, I finished it today. Northern Light. It was good. So I don't really know what, what uh, uh, book I want to read next, but I want to read a book. I just decided that I'm going to leave all of my stuttering in, because it's more real. So then my seventh and final goal for this week as of right now is um, to record all of my meals via iPhone like I did some last week. I did kind of the first meals and then I quit because I was tired and things. But I really want to record every meal because it keeps me honest and I don't know, I like it I guess. So those are my goals. I hope to hear what yours are and I hope that we can both stick to them because it's really important both for... Uh, you know, morale and everything else. And I totally believe we can. I'm going to do it, and it's going to be awesome, and this week's going to really, really rock. Basically, Ashley, meet the resistance of your mind with the force of your awesome. Or, M-T-R-O-Y-M-W-T-F-O-Y-A. Super catchy. It and the thingy, because again, it's on my iPhone and not on my iTunes, so I can't really play it for you, but as long as you know how to click a link, you should find it. It's good. Also, I thought something we could do for Sundays uh, is to do a weekly quote, just to kind of act as a source of inspiration and motivation. So this week's quote is from Brian Tracy, and it is, the future belongs to the competent. It, it belongs to those who are very, very good at what they do. It does not belong to the well-meaning. So we can be well-meaning, but unless we act and do these things and really work towards our goals, then it's not really as great. I mean, we should definitely want the future to belong to us. Because there are a lot of not-so-great people out there. And some men just want to watch the world burn. So good luck on your goals. I can't wait to hear what they are. And let's do it! I hope you make a video soon, but in the meantime, don't forget... To M-T-R-O-Y-M-W-T-F-O-Y-A.